Hello, welcome to the channel. X Shamer Main here. This video is basically going to be me updating my last video on the chamber trip guides after the chamber nerves. Chamber isn't as good as he used to be. You can't insta lock him on every map like you can characters like Reyna or Jet, but I feel like Chamber still has his place. Just like the last video, I'm going to be doing it in alphabetical order, starting from Ascent and going down from there. I'm not going to cover Breeze or Bind because I hate both of those maps with a passion. I'm joking. No, I'm not. I actually do hate Breeze. But those maps are getting removed next act, so there's no point in covering maps that aren't going to be in the game for the next few months. Starting off with everyone's favorite map, Ascent, I like to put the TP right here. Don't put it right there just in case you get pinged by like a Sylvadar or Fade Eye. You're going to get spammed. Place your trip right here. And I like to play off contact whenever it goes off. Then I like to swing, go for a kill. Then I TP out. You could still use the one from my last video where you wait for barrier to drop. And then this time you run back to Jen really quickly. And then you're able to play Jen, and now you know that your tree side is covered basically. For B site, you could place your TP right here, and you're still able to peek out main. And then you want to place a trip right behind you. I usually don't like this trip, but you need something watching you so you don't get flanked. Another one of my favorite setups for B is to place your trip right there main. And then you place your TP towards CT, and you're able to play stairs, and again, Play off contact for the trip and then you TP out. I used to say place your trip right here, but now you have to play a lot more differently because now you can barely even get on site. You have to move the trip a lot closer to you, and I usually place it out in the open right here. But for your TP, I like to place a TP in this corner, and you're able to walk out onto site and even close door and you still have the option to TP out. You're also given the option to close door and then go onto tree. And you could basically play really aggressive. You have all of tree to play and then you could TP out if you need to. But careful behind you because someone could be lurking up. Attacking on B site, I like to place the trip right here behind you. And then you place the TP right here. And you have the option to walk out onto site and close door and TP out. It's really safe. But if you're not going to be the one closing door, you have all of lane that you get to play. And you also get a little site that you get to play too. And again, you have the option to TP out, but watch out behind you. Coming over to everyone's least favorite map. I still recommend placing your trip towards this so no one has to watch it. I couldn't really find a good TP spot to where you play on site, but you can run over the tower and place your TP towards there, and then you're able to drop and play sands. You could take a fight here or main, and then you could leave. For B site, if you want to play main, you wait for barrier to drop, you put your trip right there, you put your TP right here, you're able to play in most of site, play behind the boxes right here, get a kill, then you can TP out. But if you want to play somewhere like Arcade, you could place your trip right here to watch behind you for any lurkers. And then you place your TP right here, and as soon as barriers go down, you drop down, play behind the boxes again, get a kill, and you have the option to leave. Attacking on A, I would say just place the trip right behind you. You can play most of site, but not all of it. The best place to put your TP is right here. You can swing out towards site and play pretty aggressively towards the enemy CT. Try to get a pick and then you still have the option to leave. Attacking on B site, I've seen a lot of people do this really creative TP. But you place it under site and you're able to run out and play really aggressively towards the enemy CT. Play towards generator or you can peek out even deeper and then you can leave after you get a kill. But if you're more of a passive player, I'd recommend just putting your TP in this corner right here and you're able to play the corners of sight and you could leave towards your spawn. There's not really a great place to put your trip to watch flank. So I'd recommend just putting it towards Jen so that when the enemies come out and they try to retake, they get slow. If you want to push towards arcade, I would still recommend doing the trip under 
because again you get to play very aggressively towards the enemy spawn and then you have the option to leave if you're pushing up this place the tp right here and you could place the trip to slow them down when they're retaking with this tp you can play very aggressively towards their spawn try to get one that's rotating and then you could leave for a side on haven if you want to play more passive you can place your tp up heaven and you're able to take a fight towards sewer or take a fight towards long and then you could tp heaven this busted trip spot still works like it used to you place your tp in front of that door and then when the barriers drop you run towards sewer especially if you have an op you could get a pick really quick then tp out for the trip, I usually just place it on top of one of these boxes to slow the enemies down. If you're playing B site, I would just place the trip where most chambers used to place it inside a garage. Then I would place the TP up here. This is if you're playing really aggressive, you wait for Barry to drop, you run into this corner. Maybe someone doesn't clear this corner and then you're able to TP out. You got to be careful though because they could push you fast. Playing C site, I would move the trip right here. And honestly, C site isn't the greatest for chamber, but if you have an op, you can place your TP right here. You can run and play on top of this, get a kill, and then you TP out. The enemies might be wondering where you TP'd, and then you swing out and get another kill. Attacking on A site, I would place the trip behind you, and I'd usually run and go play sewer, place the TP right here. You can run out onto site and you can play graffiti, watch heaven and watch CT and you always have the option to TP out. If you're pushing B, I would place the trip right behind you. But if you're not sending anyone garage, I would place the trip in front of garage doors. The place I like to put the TP is right here behind this little wall. You're able to run and play inside of this corner, get a kill maybe and then TP out. But make sure you're careful behind you because they could be flanking from C long. Now for C site, I would recommend putting your TP inside of this cubby. But for the trip, I wouldn't place it behind you. I would just place it for retake on CT. Usually someone is playing long, they can watch flank for you. If you place your TP inside of that cubby, you're able to play in this corner, take a fight CT or take a fight garage and you have the option to leave. A site on Icebox, I like to place it up here. And you get to play left and right side of back site. This is the more passive play style. For the passive and aggressive trip, I'd recommend just placing it right here. But for the aggressive TP, I'll place it right behind 401. Then I would hit the zip line and you're able to take a fight on top of pipes to your left or to your right. And then you could just dip out. For B site, you could still do the OG trip inside a kitchen, just place it a little deeper than normal. And then for the TP, I would place it back site and then I would play front site, try to get a pick and then you could TP out. And if you're feeling really confident, you can re-swing it again. Attacking on A, I like to put my trip on top of pipes, be able to run out and take a fight towards maze. And then I usually put the trip somewhere on site to slow them down. You could take a fight then leave. B site isn't the greatest for chamber so usually I just place my TP backside of yellow so you can take a fight snowman or on site and then for the trip I usually just place it somewhere on site. On to pearl A site I usually just place the trip right in front of main and then for the TP I place it back here towards secret and you're able to play all of back site and then TP out if you need to. If you want to peek mid from art, you should place it in this corner right here and you're able to lurk up and peek top mid, take a fight and then TP out. The mid peek from B link is a lot worse because if they have like a jet, they could rush you down really quickly. So you got to be careful. The setup for B, you place your trip right behind here and then you run and you place your trip on these stairs. Usually with this setup, I just play back halls. I play off the contact of the trip. If I hear it go off, I swing, go for a kill, and then I TP out. You're able to run heaven right after. Attacking on a site, you can still use the trip to watch your flank. You just gotta move it a little closer. And then for the TP, I put it right here. You're able to run out onto most of site, play post plant, and then TP out if you need to. 
For B site, I usually just place the trip behind this pillar so you can swing out onto site and take a fight. But for the trip, I usually just put it right here to slow them down. Hopefully this video helps some chamber players that were a little confused on how to play with chamber after the nurse. Thank you to everyone who watched this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. If you want to see more of me, I post on TikTok every day and I stream on Twitch pretty often. Check me out. Links down below.